After spending seven days on the island Kikoker in Belize, me and Melody took a bus to Bacalar, Mexico, a place that I've been to three months ago at the beginning of my journey. It was also a sad moment because I had to say goodbye to Melody, which I had built a great friendship during the last two weeks. But also had to say goodbye to Matt. We've been traveling together for the last two and a half months. And for the first time in a long time, I was back alone. The reason I was back in Mexico is that I had to take a flight to Costa Rica. In fact, I chose to do a workaway there. Workaway is a volunteer exchange program in which you work for your free accommodation, food or both. I stumbled across DreamSea, a surf camp in the middle of the jungle. My job there? Filmmaker. I had no idea what to expect of the camp or the experience. So in this video, I will cut it into different segments. First chapter, the camp. The camp is hidden in the jungle of Tamarindo, where your only neighbors are the howling monkeys, the ants, the camp dogs Kira and Tito, and the cats. At DreamSea you either sleep in dorms or tents. I had a private tent, but I wasn't sleeping alone. Here everything is simple. The showers are in and outdoors. You have plenty space to relax, to exercise, or to do yoga. And you share all this with many other guests or workaway volunteers that are all looking for the same, a taste of Pura Vida. Your day could start at 7 a.m. for yoga, but I never made it, oops. El desayuno está listo. Around 8, it was breakfast time. He had to watch for the sneaky cats. <laughs> and at the end of breakfast, you would play for cleaning the plates. Legend says one time someone cleaned 20 plates. Here everyone has a job. Would it be cleaning around the camp, in the kitchen, yoga instructor, surf instructor, photographer or filmmaker? If you didn't have a job in the morning, you would chill till 10 a.m. where a shuttle would take us to the beachfront. Where most of us would enjoy the pool, And this brings me to chapter two, surfing. I'm a total beginner, 
Tamarindo is perfect for that. But unfortunately, a drama happened. I dropped my GoPro into the ocean. More than 20 minutes, yeesh, that's enough for me. Life is simple, wake up early, get on the surfboard, get soaked into the waves, Stand and fail. Catch the wave. Dance with it. Take a break. And get back out there. Eat, surf, sleep, repeat. At one point, the camp organized a pretty interesting drinking game called Flunky Ball. The rules are simple, get a drink, get a team, one team tries to hit the bottles in the middle of the field, the other team runs while you chuck your beer, so on and on. Until the team finish their drink, they win. Honestly, in the end, everybody wins because everyone is having a good time. This part is a bit personal. Even though I was having a great time, believe it or not, I was struggling with something in the inside. The truth is, I have a tendency to be too much up there in my head. My mind likes to wander back in the past. 
I was lacking of clarity. Why wasn't I not 100% in the moment? Why? Journaling helps me deconstruct my thoughts and review them to learn from them. I also knew that I'm alone in changing how I feel, that it was time to walk alone to become a better version of myself. Because in the end, even when the sun is down, there is something beautiful after. On my last day at DreamSea, we did an overnight stay at Playa Mina. A remote beach where we were the only people staying there. It was the perfect time to end this adventure. Moving around, Relaxing, playing football, we also hiked up to a viewpoint over the beach. play but that was the first time that I saw the, all the people like the community was like really enjoying it so even though yeah I didn't play I didn't drink I wasn't drunk but I really enjoyed it so yeah awesome. ball. <laughs> any nice moments anyone had with David at all yes Charles I uh, really enjoyed our early morning table tennis games every single day um, it's a really great way to start the day and um, yeah just getting to know you've been really nice uh, wish you all the best. Thanks, man. Yeah, the fun. Yeah, did it. Yeah, well, like, it's the same thing. But, like, thank you so much for teaching me what you knew. And also, I really appreciate it all. Like, you have so much more experience than me, but you didn't, like, you help on me and you like it. Like, you just, like, took my hand to help me. Woo! I really appreciate it. Bravo! Thank you. Well, I had a 
had uh, lots of moments with uh, Daria, so uh, <laughs> and uh, really enjoyed you know, uh, that kind of uh, switch to, to, to someone in Italian and. Uh, <laughs> You make me so laugh, like when, uh, like he's always like in the pool. Every time I arrive in Sevilla, he's like waiting for, waiting for, like to hear someone talking French or speak French. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my bags are packed. It's time to leave Dreamsea. What a weird feeling. <laughs> I've been here for four weeks and. Yeah, actually it's really tough to live. I enjoyed that time and finishing up with this adventure, this excursion, sleeping on the beach, seeing the plankton at night, having just an amazing time with some great, great, great people. I want to take a moment to thank everyone that I met during my stay at Dreamsea. We jumped all together in this adventure. A special thanks to Michael for making this workaway happen, but also for being like a big brother to me. To Tonton Julien <laughs> for your goofiness. Ophelie for your courage. Three years of traveling, damn. But it was time for my next adventure called Nicaragua. Thanks for following the journey. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram to see all the behind the scenes. Thank you for your support and I see you in the next one. <laughs>